We made it back to the flea market. It's weird driving through it. Isn't that crazy? It's like crazy. Look at the ceiling. What are you doing? He's doing all concrete already. I don't see the property with any concrete. It's okay, it was a workout. It was my workout for today. Oh, yes. Hey guys. Happy Sunday. Today is Sunday. I just kind of threw on a little kind of cute outfit, if you can see. Uh, my dad is coming with me to go back. This is the last day of the trade days flea market uh, in Fredericksburg. We got to go pick up our mantle. So my dad, I'm riding with my dad. We're going to go pick it up because it won't fit in my mom's car. I desperately need like a van. Like one of those sprinter vans or like so we could transform it into something else later. But I can like carry stuff. I feel so bad asking him all the time. And I just want big stuff. You know what I mean? I always find myself in this situation. I'm like, can you come help me pick it up? He, he totally will. Uh, so we're going to go pick it up. Kinsley, be a good, good baby. I was just getting my renovation video live. Where'd you go, Kinsley? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'll be right back, okay? Oh, I love you. I already had coffee. I've been up for a while. He's probably already ready. I'm usually always really prompt. We made it back to the flea market. It's weird driving through it. We could shop out the, we could window shop. It's a whole new meaning of window shopping. Wow, and it was, and they said oh, really what it was for. So pretty, you guys. Was, uh, if you really was gonna use it for a fireplace, for heat resistance, so it would get hot against it. We made it back. You know it's Sunday when there's football playing on like four television throughout the house. My mom's watching football. I'm making some, it's about 12.30 now. A little lunch, avocado toast. I didn't eat breakfast either. We kind of, I kind of was working on my video and we were, we're like, okay, let's go now. And uh, I wanted to get back because my dad's gonna work on some projects too. And usually I use Sundays as a day to like recharge and reset and things, but I have a lot of work to do. We have a house to move into. Really need to get this house dried in. I wanna put some insulation in the interior walls around the bathrooms. Um, I don't know if I'll get that to that today. I'm gonna be rolling that myself, so we're gonna save some money. So I wanna go down to the house and work on the windows. I, I got all the glass that we were able to save from restoring the windows. We were able to pop some of them out, and then it was easier to paint but I needed to get all the gunk off of the glass. I got all that cleaned yesterday, so I can go ahead and start putting that in. I can order some glass to be cut tomorrow. <sighs> we made it to the house. I changed. I was working down here yesterday and I set up, it was like 50 mile an hour winds yesterday. It was insane. But since we did the foaming, see all the foam? Isn't that crazy? It's like crazy. Look at the ceiling. Crazy. Since we did all of that, and blocked all of the windows, ideally they would have liked to do the foam once the house was dried in. But it, yeah, I'm trying. This, these windows have taken, this window project has been nine months in the making, but we didn't want it to hold us up. We can do it without it dried in. They like to do it with it dried in. So what they did is they just covered the holes. Since it was so windy, I actually set up a table in here in the primary bedroom. It wasn't windy in here. And I was able to get all of this glass cleaned so these are all panes that we were able to salvage from the windows. I mean, for each pane, it kind of saved me like 20 bucks or so, which is good. And then I wrote down a list of all of the glass that I need, the glass that I have, the glass that I need, so that I can just place an order somewhere and just like, I'm gonna need all of this, I'm coming by and pick it up so I can have all the rest of the glass for the new windows. So it'll be dried in. Mama? Hey, I have to clean out the refrigerator. Oh. The, are you gonna eat any more of this pizza? No. Okay, and uh, I guess all these are okay, huh? Are we just, Hello Fresh? The, the Hello Fresh that's on the top row, now those four are all new with that meat. I got it yesterday. So I was taking out all of the stuff that I need. I got more glass cleaner. I got, I'll, I have two of these window glazings left. So I'm going to determine, uh, this one's a new one. So I'm gonna determine how many panes I can do with this so that I know how many more I need. I'm gonna need tape pliers, needle nose pliers, and the little push window push points. Probably this knife always usually comes in handy. And some windows. Let's start with the kitchen ones. I separated them out. I was pretty smart about how I did the, the windows this time. I actually wrote on the sides of the windows. So this is all primary bathroom. And here are all of the kitchen. One, two, three, four. Let's start with one. This is 
so exciting, you guys. I'm just, I'm just so excited for this project to be done. And then I have glass for those windows over there too. I already took one down. You guys, when I say it was windy, it was windy. The bamboo was like laying on its side. It was so windy, like crazy. getting much later the sun's about to set it's getting kind of dark but I made progress I did one here I was working on this one but uh, I don't know I think I need to shave some off the glass is just like too per too like a hair too big they're all a little different um so I was working on these two in here I got all of these done one two three four five six paints so some of them like that paint over there and this paint right here I don't have any more of those I don't have any more of that size that I, I'm just putting in all of the glass that I actually have um so we'll when I get the glass obviously I'll keep keep going I feel like I made I, it's it's not a quick process but I was getting faster at it I was getting the hang of it how to hold the caulking gun right just to get the window glaze to come out like kind of perfect I was getting a lot better at it so hopefully as I keep doing it I'll get faster and faster and faster at it and then obviously the glazing is white right now I'm gonna let it dry the whole house dry for a while and then go back and paint it black so you won't see that white anymore but I made some progress for sure Good morning. I have been up for a while. I have ran many errands this morning. I went to the hardware store. I went to the craft store. Starbucks! <laughs> I, just, I just made a full loop of all of the things that I needed to do. So now it's like noon and my dad and I want to work on a project um, this afternoon. I need some fuel. So I'm gonna make some lunch and a big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I got some new things to eat last night. We are gonna make chicken fajita bowls today. And all of HelloFresh meals come in these pre-portioned um, packages. So you have everything that you need. So you don't have to get a whole bunch of stuff you don't use from the grocery store. Since HelloFresh sends all of the ingredients that you need for every recipe, it's less prep, it's less food waste, you don't have a lot of extra package of tomatoes or, or peppers or, or things that you just don't use and goes to waste. I think we all go into the new year paying attention to what we're eating and just our overall lifestyle habits and what we're consuming. And having fresh meals in the fridge every week kind of eliminates the need to just run out and get fast food or or something that would just not really nourish our body not really that great for us so i love having recipes every week they also have calorie smart and carb smart recipes for you to pick from and having different recipes to choose from every week gets you out of a recipe rut you try new things i don't really know flavors and how to season things properly but it, like it actually makes me a good cook cooking out fresh i actually make really nice meals every week and it saves so much time there's also quick and easy recipes that are like under 20 minutes. You can also increase your serving size with HelloFresh so that you have extras for lunch, which is exactly what I'm about to do with this recipe. So I have two meals down for the week already. It's so good. That was so good. I devoured it. I was so hungry and I have lunch for tomorrow. So I'm super excited. You guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use code McKenna16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. I am going to change, head down to my house or go meet, go meet my dad to see what he's up to to see if he wants to work on our project today now we're on our way 
actually to Fox Run, check out my dad, because he built a contraption, a magnet contraption. So he has this big magnet that hooks on the back of our little go-kart mule little driver thing that he picks up metal with, screws, things like that. And we have been meaning, meaning, like need, needing, not even meaning, needing to do to both Fox Run and my house uh, so that we don't get any nails in our tires because we have a big project that I think he wants to work on today, I'm hoping. So I just drove by my house just to make sure my dad wasn't here. You never know where my dad's gonna be or what he's gonna be doing. So I drove past here on my way to Fox Run to see if he was here and look what he's doing. He's doing all concrete already. I didn't even know, I thought he would be working on the magnet first. Okay, my dad took one load of concrete. So now I can tell you guys actually what we're doing. I thought he was gonna be doing something else. I thought I had time to explain. For this cottage renovation, for the design, I don't see the property with any concrete, exposed concrete. I don't think that it goes with the design, the feeling, the style. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like concrete. It looks too like modern and I just don't like it. Um, so we had all this concrete walkway around the house. I don't want any of that. All the walkways and the driveway where we park is all gonna be pavers. We have to pick that still, I haven't done that yet. Um, but one of the projects, my dad always likes to, he's like, when you need help, just figure out what projects you need help with. Like, especially with the heavy machinery, like the backhoe, make a list and we'll figure out a day that's best. So it was gonna be really warm. So we decided to do all of this today. So we are taking all of the concrete off of the property and taking it down to the embankment at Fox Run. So it's gonna be used so that we can start our outdoor projects soon um, before the rainy season in spring, like April. So I'm really excited. We're gonna get all of this gone. Since the rainy season has kind of subsided now here in Texas, um, it's not gonna get super muddy. So there's some other uh, concrete on the property that I want to go to. This old block used to be for the air conditioner, but we're not gonna have the air conditioner here on the side. We have it hidden behind the house and behind the fireplace on the other side. I'm gonna keep these blocks because it helps us get into the house for now. We're gonna take that one away. What was that one for? Oh, that one was for the water heater. So that's, we actually need to pour a, pour more concrete, but we need to pour a, a slab, a little slab here for our water softener. That is gonna go there, but that one's too small. And I got a dumpster now, back, finally. We've been waiting on a dumpster forever. They just didn't have any. Um, they were all taken, so finally got one. So we can now get rid of a lot more stuff, like cleaning up the property while it's good weather is necessary. I wanna get rid of all of these um, blocks. And I actually think that that, I think we're gonna keep, we'll keep this concrete for now with the workshops because it's not bothering anyone and we're not there yet anyways. And we can finally get rid of all of that trash. So that is on the agenda today. So I'm gonna start hauling those cinder blocks out to the front so that we can load them in the backhoe. Ah! Oh my 
gosh, you guys, hours later, hours. We got all the concrete is gone. Every last bit of it. This is making me so happy. The yard actually feels so much larger now. So my dad took the last load of concrete. He's gonna like uh, pull up some stumps that are here and then smooth everything out so it looks like nice and like smooth. But we got a special delivery. I got two boxes. We have to open them. I have to show you what they are. <sighs> oh, I'm so tired of carrying stuff today. The concrete boxes picking up all the little remnants of concrete. It's okay, it was a workout. It was my workout for today. Whew. So you guys remember um, last week, I asked you about the sinks for the primary bathroom, the ones that I had ordered. I wasn't seeing it. it I think it was gonna fight with the vanity and I just wasn't seeing it in the overall space anymore because we had more elements. So I showed you like the undermount version in the same collection so it matched the toilet for the bathroom I was leaning towards it anyways but you guys totally agreed that the undermount was the way to go they were both undermount so to speak so we were gonna lose space in the vanity anyways but I'm gonna get creative with how we can still reserve some drawer space and storage space in the vanity while also having the undermount sink you know what I mean we'll see what they look like oh, <laughs> oh. Yes, pretty. You guys, they're pretty. Like you can totally still see this detail, this ripple detail, which I liked on the other sink, but it's like just less surrounding. I don't even think that the sink itself is any smaller, which is great, but I think these are gonna be perfect. So I got two of them, pure white, so that it matches the tub and the toilet. Oh, I love them. From Kohler. Very nice, very nice. I think we did a good job. Thank you guys so much for your opinion on this. Like, I was like going back and forth and I just didn't know. Something in my gut was saying that it wasn't right, those sinks weren't right. I love everything else that we ordered, everything. And we had to order those back in March, you know? So like lots of, has kind of changed, but other things have it. It's just, the house is like a living thing. So I think this is gonna be good. And then I'll use, those two sinks in the guest houses, along with the other sink that we got from the flea market, those three, we're done. We have all the sinks. Oh, I have nothing else in me. Oh my gosh. I haven't had a day like that, like that physical of a day since before the holiday. My endurance is given out. I used to be in the yard all the time, but it's just been so cold. And we haven't had a lot of like yard type work to do or hauling or you know what I mean? Like we haven't had to do that type of stuff. I've been doing more like windows and like stand and do things with your hands and say, I mean, I guess I did paint the whole house, but that was not a strength. Painting the house was so much easier than hauling concrete, obviously. Oh my gosh, we got it all done though. That was a huge project. I love the light that comes in here. It's like 4.30 and it's like rays. It's so nice. I love this house so much. I haven't heard from my contractor yet today. Let me check. Nope, no update on the sheetrock, but that's what I still haven't dried in this house, you guys. I'm not rushing him, I'm trying. They're not really waiting on me because they don't know that they're waiting on me, but we're waiting on the electrician and the plumber just to make sure that everything is done. And I'm pretty sure these, yeah, these valves need to be put in for the tub. I think that that's the last thing that he needs to do. Two tub valves and then something with this. This needs to be figured out. This morning I ran to uh, Home Depot to pick up some uh, four inch insulation, the roll kind. So I got this one. Uh, I got six of them because I was very ill planned when I went to Home Depot this morning. I was like, I didn't know how much was in each pack. And the last time I bought insulation, it was just like a huge pack and I was just gonna get one. You know what I mean? And then there were like these little ones and I was like, wait, I don't know how much I need. So each one of these covers 40 square feet around both of the bathrooms and the laundry room. And then we'll see where we're at. Um, I wanna do that, pro I have to obviously have to do that project before they put in sheetrock. So that's project, that's one project. And then the windows is the second project. And then the exterior doors is the third project. <laughs> and we did concrete all day. I think I'm a little bit behind, but my back is like giving out. I can't, I can't do it anymore today. So it's almost five. I feel like we should call it a day. <laughs> 
I love your haircut. You're so short, but you had to be. You look like a poodle. You look like a poodle. Is blue. It's been that way since I started missing you. Showered, made some coffee. It was like 5 30 by 30. Because I have some editing that I need to do tonight so that I can wake up <laughs> kind of early in the morning. Try in this house. I gotta get it done. I feel like it's never ending. Like so much work and love and elbow grease and sweat we have gone into renovating this house. When you're doing a house yourself and you didn't hire like a team of people to do everything from start to finish, it just takes time. And I know this house is gonna be so, so, so special. So it's, it's all worth it. I'm very excited to get started on the outside for some reason. Like my dad and I are gonna build my fence. It's gonna be made out of iron and limestone rock pillars and stuff. I'm so excited. You guys will see plans for that soon, but like we've just been like chatting about it and looking at inspiration and kind of like sketching it out, like where it would go and how tall it would be. And I want pretty flowers like to grow through the, the iron. I'm gonna do some editing for a little bit. How me out, it doesn't make my life any easier. The wishing you were still in my arms, holding my hand, and not just some old picture on my Instagram. Okay, I've done quite a bit of editing actually. I don't really like to edit at night, you guys. I like to edit in the mornings. I wanted to figure out, because I need to call, first thing in the morning, I need to call or go by the, the place that I got the glass from last time and get the glass. When I was at the house yesterday, I wrote down all the glass that I have and then all the glass that I need so that I can kind of like cross reference. I'm like, okay, I have this many, I needed that many, I need this many to be cut and go through it. And then I broke a big one yesterday. That's so frustrating. So I know I'm gonna have to, I had two, but I only have one of these now. <laughs> so frustrating. 20, 21, 20. I need 22 pieces of glass cut, which means I need to install 22 panes of glass, like right now. <laughs> Kinsley's eating her dinner and then she's gonna wanna cuddle, play, and lay. Um, so I'm going to not edit anymore tonight and wake up tomorrow and edit and then work down at the house all day tomorrow for sure. Like, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys again this Sunday on my other channel for another renovation video and then again on Tuesday for another vlog. Bye guys. Oh.